warming up here in green country, at least for today. So Michael, how warm is it going to get? We'll see temperatures today pushing a good 10 degrees above where we were yesterday afternoon, and you'll notice even that change stepping outside this morning. How about highs later today pushing 80 degrees? In fact, even around lunchtime into the low 70s. So find a patio and enjoy lunch outside. There will be a breeze though, starting out out of the south, becoming more southwesterly into the afternoon, but at 10 to 20 miles per hour with a few higher gusts and the dry conditions that we have, that fire risk is going to come up a little bit, not going to be extremely high, but certainly worth monitoring as we go throughout the day. And it will be a little bit higher for those of you here to the north and west humidity values We'll be down around 30 to 40% when we peak with the heating this afternoon. And again, we still got those drought conditions here across north and western portions of the region into southeastern Kansas. So that's why that grass fire risk will be a little bit higher north and west. So just be monitoring that cautious with that as we go through the day. But other than that, it will be a beautiful day. Upper 70s and low 80s are going to be the rule across the region this afternoon. If you've got any outdoor plans, Thumbs up. They're going to be good to go. We'll notice a few more clouds sweeping through the metro by late afternoon and the first half of the evening before we start to clear things back out tonight. That'll be with a weak cold front that's going to sweep on through in that front. Not a lot of moisture to work with but maybe just enough to squeeze out a few sprinkles or showers between about 4 o'clock this afternoon, about 9 o'clock this evening. I am going to leave just that slightest chance. Somebody here, Bartlesville, Coffeyville. Independence, maybe around Miami, back down to around Grove, maybe even as far south as prior. Maybe somebody gets a sprinkle or a shower this evening, but it's not going to amount to a whole lot. Not a big deal if uh, you have any plans this evening, so I wouldn't uh, worry too much about that. But there may be a chance somebody gets a few raindrops. We'll fall back down into the upper 40s to near 50 for tomorrow morning, and then tomorrow afternoon, probably just a few degrees cooler compared to what we'll see today. But a great view here from Brookside, looking good. There you can see downtown Tulsa on the Wade's RV weather. The camera network. The front it's going to come in this evening, still back here to the north and west. You can see the clouds associated with that system moving here across Nebraska and Kansas. That's what's going to sweep on through as we go into the afternoon. And again, we may get a couple of sprinkles or showers here far northeastern portions of the region. Not a big deal. That front sweeps through, does cool us down just a few degrees tomorrow. Once we get into the weekend, there'll be another isolated storm chance to the north on Sunday. Temperatures are staying warm for those weekend plans. Oktoberfest, we've got Tulsa, Boohaha looking great through the weekend. We'll break down some higher rain and storm chances next week in that 10 day forecast in the next half hour.